Hey guys, Mixed Media Girl here. So a couple days I did this uh, pour, which was through a sink strainer. And now I'm going to just go ahead and add a peacock down here. Um, so this would be feathers. I haven't totally decided how big I want to do this, but I'm gonna just go ahead and get started and go from there. I'm starting with the body here. I think I'll do it kind of medium. So peacocks generally have a kind of long, thin neck, and then their heads aren't like super huge. Let's go ahead and add a circle here for the head. I think that's a decent size. All right, make this come out a little more down here. And don't worry, it'll pretty much look ugly until it's done. So, just to warn you, kind of looks like E.T. right now. But just have a little faith. And I always like to start small, because you can make it bigger, you can't make it smaller. Okay, so now we have the basic blue, and I am going to continue that around the edge here. And this, I'm just using, uh, let's see, this is an Artist Loft Phthalo Blue. Okay. And then I'm going to add a little bit of light here so that it's not all just one blue. This is just uh, actually Craft Smart White. Then I'm going to go in here with a different brush and with a little bit of black and just kind of add a little bit of kind of shadowing throughout here. This is where the neck kind of starts. This is definitely not a lesson on shadowing or light, but this is just how I do it and I love how it comes out. And then I'm going to go kind of underneath here and delineate the head a little more. And then I'm going to just use my other brush to blend that in. Okay. We've got kind of the basic shape there. I'm going to go ahead and add in the beak, which I like to do the beak uh, kind of a light gray. And they have just little, they're not like super large beaks. There we go. And then we'll add in the eye, which I do like a black kind of almond shape for that. And then there's like a white, I don't know what it is exactly. I'm definitely no expert in peacocks, but like a white kind of feathering a bit that they have around their eye. And we'll add a little white dot here. There we go. And I am actually going to grab a smaller brush at this point. I need a smaller one. Okay. So I'm going to do a tiny bit more work on the beak here. I just like to put a little line in the middle. And then they have the little kind of nostril thing up here. Doop. Like Marilyn Monroe. Okay. And then they have the, I want to say plume or whatever it's called on top here. And we just do a bunch of lines. And then I put some dots 
I use the back of my brushes better. Put some dots at the tops of these. Okay, I think we're pretty much done. I'm gonna just smooth out this area down here real quick. I went a little over my lines there. And then sometimes also what I like to do is I'm gonna add a little tiny white on the top of the beak. So unfortunately my video cut out at the very end, but all I did was add a little white line on the top of the beak here, and then I signed it. When I'm doing like an abstract piece that the customer can hang however they want, I generally sign the back. If it has a direction, I sign the front. So now we'll do our close up. All right, so here it is. Here's our little peacock. Um, you can see that little white line on the top right there. And coming down. There we go. And if you weren't on the live video, you probably didn't see this close up, so I'll show you that too. Just awesome lines. I intentionally did this with peacock colors so that I could add that. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Please do not forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And otherwise, I will see you all next time.